Brooklyn Jesuit Prep is a nativity model middle school in Crown Heights, Brooklyn, founded by the New York province of the Society of Jesus in 2003. We are here to serve uh, low-income families. Uh, that's what we're designed for. So we're serving families who um, desire a, an excellent education, a Jesuit education, uh, but otherwise would not be able to afford such an education. The teachers actually care about you. They care about the work that you're doing and they'll take time out of their busy day to help you succeed. What makes BJP a special place is like, it's my second home. BJP is special because we're all like a big family here because the teachers care about you and your classmates are like your brothers and sisters. Everybody gets along with each other and um, the students respect the teachers and the students also respect each other. The most critical aspect of being at BJP is that we are here to serve the students and parents in the community. The fact that the classes are so small and the school is so small allows for everyone who works here to know every student. They call if there's ever an issue, whether it be good or bad. So it's nice to go home when your child comes home and say, oh, your teacher called and it was good news, and they're really happy about hearing that. The most important thing to remember about Jesuit education it is, that, is that it is focused on educating the whole person, teaching them to uh, evolve as whole people, to be men and women for others. There are three main components to the Brooklyn Jesuit Prep program. The first being a rigorous academic curriculum with an extended school day, including mandatory sports and activities, which offers our students the opportunities to grow as learners and as leaders. BJP really helped me apply myself. It was like one-on-one, -on -one. the teacher knows, your, knows you and knows what you need to do, like what tasks you need to take. So I thought that BJP really helped me out into changing myself either from a better person and academic-wise. The expectations that are held here, they're very high and you need to have a sort of standard. If you don't understand a concept, you could go back to them, ask them during your free time and their free time. The school I went to, my work wasn't that hard, but in fifth grade when I came, mm -hmm. The work got harder and I got used to it and I don't have a problem with it at all. The second aspect of the school is our summer leadership program housed at Fairfield University in Connecticut, offering our students academic enrichment, personal challenge, and spiritual growth. What do kids do during the summer? Nothing. They play video games, they watch TV. But here's this program where these children go away for a complete month. And honestly, it gives them this one moment where they're actually, in essence, on their own. And they have to be accountable for the things that they do. Camp, it helped me to be an individual because I got away from my family from a whole month in a whole different state. and do things by myself, not having to depend on other people to do things for me. Finally, the Graduate Support Program is designed to follow our graduates and support them through high school, college and beyond. Even though I was at a different school, I felt that they were always there with me walking through. Like they got the report cards when I got my report cards. I came here for extra help, tutoring, just to sit down and talk to them and they were always here to hear me out. The teachers and like the people who work in the graduate support program really provide you with the help you need. Anytime you're confused about anything, you can come down. What we are able to do through the graduate support program is also support our family families financially um, to be able to afford the tuition they get tuition assistance from the high schools as well. It's the beginning of a journey for our students. It does not end here. So I believe that if they get a very good foundation here, and then they can go on to high school and college and be the person that God wants them to be. I'm a senior in college, like, oh my God. I'm about to be the second graduate of my family. This is so exciting. I love this school. Like, I can't explain how much I love this school.